Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Z, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bonk, some meme coins. I want to take a look at Bitcoin because we're starting to kind of consolidate in here, and I'm seeing some warning signs I want to talk about. And I also want to talk about how I sold the majority of my Bonk position. So, without further ado, let's hop into this video. As of right now, Bitcoin is trading at $42,405. Bitcoin dominance at 51.69%. When it excludes stable coins, it's trading at about 53.69%. And I'll tell you what, guys, we've basically been consolidating in this Bitcoin dominance range for about the past week. A lot of this liquidity is moving into these smaller cap meme coins. The real question is going to be, will we see that flow back into Bitcoin or will we have to see a capitulation to the downside? Because right now, the bigger cap coins are kind of just trading sideways and these smaller caps... There's a lot of meme coin mania happening. But I'll take a look over at Bonk because Bonk right now is starting to spill over. Last night, I did sell the majority of my position. I did create at least a 1,000 plus Solana profit on this trade, which I'm very excited about. But I still am holding this position because I do think that when we are in the full bull market, that this coin probably will bounce significantly. Now, am I going to trade back into this? Am I going to deploy ca deploy my profit back into this or capital into this trade, into bonk? I don't know. We'll have to see how low we go. We could still continue from here. There's definitely a chance, especially if the liquidity moves back from these meme coins into Bitcoin and the cycle starts all over again. And we see a little bit more of the cash flow come into the Bitcoin and the crypto asset class as a whole, as a whole the money flow. We need to see that come in to see that happen. But I did Go over on Twitter. You can follow me at 333 Black Sea. I did say I have now taken my last profit out of Bonk Bag until we are in the full bull market. I have netted over a thousand plus Solana profit. I will hold the rest of my Bonk until the Bitcoin makes new highs. And that's my plan, guys. You know, uh, I've been holding this since the bottom. I've, I've over 60x'd my money, and um, it's time to realize some profits. I, in my mind, I, I thought right now the hype is kind of dying down. It got all of its exchange listings, and usually when a coin gets an exchange listing, that's definitely a sell-the-news event, especially on Coinbase, um, unless it is literally the peak of the bull market and there's extreme mania. But guys, as of right now, we're still in the pre-having year. We're still in the pre-having year. We haven't even really started the true bull market. Yes, we, there's awesome gains to be made right now. As you can see, I mean, we've been increasing, and there's been money flowing into the crypto space, getting some attention, but... The true hype and mania has not even happened. It probably won't happen for another year, guys. There's time on our side here. And I do think that something to note with a lot of these meme coins rallying super, super hard. And a lot, I'm seeing constantly on the crypto Twitter timeline and even on YouTube, a lot of people shilling these meme coins. And it's kind of relentless. And usually that's a warning sign that we need to see a little bit of a tumble. And I will be honest, though, it is the pre-having year, so maybe there's a lot of hype, and maybe we don't see that fump, that fumble to the downside, but it's just a warning sign that I've recognized over the years been being inside the crypto market for since 2015. When you see a lot of these small caps really, really running, and a lot of these meme coins that have no use case at all gaining so much hype, it can be either a sign of uh, the end of the cycle or uh, a local top and i think that there's definitely a good chance that we're at a local top here like i said though it could continue if bitcoin decides to make a breakout above the forty-five thousand dollars price level we'll probably see an increase in this mania we'll probably see even more because you know back when we were trading before this previous cycle here before we reached sixty-nine thousand, and we were trading around this level in 2019 I was saying to myself, because I was I wrote out the previous cycle, and I told myself, you know, can it really go up higher? Can we really break above $20,000 before the halving? Is that really possible to break previous highs of that cycle before the halving? And I really debated about that in my mind. I really was thinking about it and kind of having an internal battle about it. And the question is, yes, it can. And yes, taking profit at this upside before a large capitulation would probably be an appropriate move if you're a trader. But if you want to make the most amount of money possible with taking minimal risk, 
it's probably just a better idea to hold. And that's why right now, even if we do have a capitulation, I'll be buying that dip. Guys, you know, I, I keep talking about how we need to zoom in here and realize higher low, higher low, higher low. If we were to come down to, say, even 33,000, that's a higher low, guys. That's still macro bullish. That's still very, very good. Do I think we would come down to 33K if we had a capitulation? I think it's possible. But do I think that it will happen? It's probable? Probably not. I think that our first target we should be looking at is about 37,000. But if we come to 37,000 and we break below it, then we'll talk about the next levels. But I do think that it's much more probable that if we do see a move to the downside before another leg up, it's probably around $37,000, $38,000. But guys, I just want to let you know where my mind's at. I took profit on Bonk. I'm definitely not I'm definitely not not exposed to the crypto space. I definitely am buying heavily. Any I do believe that the dips are for buying right now. But I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on where I think we were headed here. If you like this type of content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel right now. Also go follow me on Twitter at 333 Black Z. I'm very, very active over there. Please check out some awesome referral links down below in this description of this video. I have a forty one hundred dollar sign up bonus to Femex. $8,000 sign-up bonus to BitGet. Lots of awesome free money to take advantage of, so feel free to check that out. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.